Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on Locrine and today we get to hear from Humber in Act 2, Scene 2. Now in Act 1 we were dealing sort of with Locrine and his family. His father Brutus died and crowned Locrine and told him that he should marry his cousin Gwendolyn and he was like, yeah, cool, that's great. Uh, and then we also had the clown thing going on with Strumbo wanting to marry Dorothy and that is good. And at the end of Act at the end of Act 1, essentially, Locrine was like, okay, we've now buried my dad. Let's go and watch me marry my cousin Gwendolyn. And everybody was cool with that. And then Act 2, Scene 1, we had Ate come back out with a dumb show that was sort of illustrating that Locrine may not get a happily ever after. So in Act 2, Scene 2, we sort of need to meet the people who are going to make that happily ever after not happen. And one of them is Humber, who is the emperor of the Scythians. And he comes in with his son Hubba and his wife Estrold and a whole bunch of other people. And he kicks off Act 2, Scene 2 by saying, at length the snail doth climb the highest tops, ascending up the stately castle walls. At length the water with continual drops doth penetrate the hardest marble stone. At length we are arrived in Albion, nor could the barbarous Dacian sovereign, nor yet the ruler of brave Belgia, stay us from cutting over to this isle. Whereas I hear a troop of Phrygians under the conduct of posthumous son have pitched up lordly pavilions and hope to prosper in this lovely isle. But I will frustrate their foolish hope and teach them that the Scythian emperor leads fortune tied in a chain of gold, constraining her to yield unto his will and grace him with their regal diadem, which I will have, maugre their treble hosts and all the power their petty kings can make. So Humber is a Scythian king, uh, and remember, this is before England was actually a thing. When he talks about arriving in Albion, he's arriving on the island that we now know as the United Kingdom. He's, he's arriving in what we now know as England, but it, it was known as Albion back then. So he's saying, his, the first couple lines he's saying, you know, it took us a really long to get, time to get here. And then we fought a few sort of major battles to get here, and nobody could stop us from getting to this island, but I hear that there's a little bit of an army being raised on this island, but like, that's not a problem. I, I'm totally gonna beat them because I, as a Scythian emperor, like fortune is on my side, fate is on my side. I am supposed to be king of this island as well as being emperor of the Scythians. So his son Hubba then perks up or, or chimes in. And he's like, yes, Ab like whatever army's here, we're gonna win, we're gonna beat them, we are going to prevail. And Humber's like, you know, yeah, thank you for your support. And he turns to his wife and asks her, he asks his wife Estrild what she thinks is gonna happen with all of this, and we will hear her response in tomorrow's monologue. So I will see you then. Mwah.